One of the most important things we can do with our email lists is keep it nice and clean. It's just like your bathroom and your bedroom. We want to keep it nice and sparkling and ready for lots of love. Why do we do that? Well, one of the reasons is if we have an email list which is full of unsubscribed people or we're sending emails to people who aren't opening our emails, then it changes everything. We're more likely to end up in spam folders. We're not getting a true idea of how much our emails really impacting people. So things like your click rates and your open rates, those percentages will all be affected by the amount on your total list. And if half those people aren't engaged with you, then it looks an awful lot lower than it really is. So the other thing is if we're paying for our email platform, then we're paying for people who aren't interested in us. So it's well worth going through our email list and having a good cleanup about every three months. Now, one of the first things to do is to get together a list. We often call them segments, a segment which contains all the people who haven't engaged with you and then we can decide what to do with them. A really good thing to do is to then set up a re-engagement um, sequence of emails. So we try and win some of those back. And generally, you can get about two or 3% back, which is really good. So what we're gonna do today is actually set up that segment. We're here in MailChimp. MailChimp is one of the most popular um, general email platforms, and it's one that a lot of you use. So working this out for yourself can be a little bit difficult. So I'm going to show you the exact steps to setting up that segment of people who are unengaged with you so that you can send them some emails and you can get them back in or you can archive them or unsubscribe them at the end. So here we are. We are in my Words for Wellness MailChimp folder. Now, this is something I just use for demo. So as you can see, I don't have a large total audience in here. We are going to go straight down to the audience button over here and we're going to click on audience. When you scroll down, you'll see all your information and you can get a lot of information here about your audience list. But what we're going to do is we're going to hang out here, which says segments and click on that. And it will think about it. It will take its time. Now, at the moment, I've got one segment up here, but I want to create another one. So I'm going to come over here to this light gray button that says create segment and I'm going to click on that. And depending on how fast everything goes today, it's going to bring me up a new segment option. And I'm going to set some of these changes and this is a really important thing to think about. So while we're waiting, <laughs> here we go. We want to create a segment. And the first thing we want to do is set our contacts to match all of the following conditions. So if we keep it on any, then we'll have certain conditions where it will be this or this or this. If we set it to all of the following conditions, it will be this and this. So that means they have to meet every single one of these criteria. So the first th criteria we want to set is their email um, marketing status. So click on that and it will come up saying subscribed, unsubscribed, non-subscribed. We'll click on it and I want you to take away everything apart from subscribed. So just leave subscribed. So we want to only target the people who are subscribed. Now click on add. And the next thing we're going to add is the campaign activity. So again, it's under subscriber data. We're going to choose campaign activity. And what we want to do is we want to target the people who we haven't, who haven't opened our emails because they're, they're not engaged with us. They're not opening it. 
So we're going to choose did not open. Now, this is what's going to depend on your frequency of emails. So if you're used to emailing out people um, once a week, um, then you might want to choose that you've chosen, they've not opened any of the campaigns sent with the last three months. So that's quite a lot of emails they've got now, about 12, if you are sending them out e weekly. If you only send emails out monthly, you may want to send this, set this to another period of time, like six months or they've not opened the last five campaigns. So all these options are up here. You can also choose specific, but for this, it's a good idea to choose all campaigns within the last three months. So we want to make sure that they did not open all the campaigns set within the last three months. Now, the next thing we want to do, because I've come across this before, is we're going to add another segment we're going to say that the date added so here we go again under subscriber data the date added is um, before a specific date and what you can do is go in here and with a little calendar choose three months before so for the purposes of this i'll choose the first of may what that means is if you have somebody who subscribed to your email list two days ago, they've not yet opened your emails, they will be included in this. And that's not what we want. They've not had time to open our emails. So what we want to do is say that they've been added before. So anybody who you've added, who meets these other two criteria, but was added after three months, then they're not going to be included in this. If they keep not opening, you'll, you'll catch them in the next round of um, of re-engagements okay what you can also do is if you have your mailchimp set up for e-commerce now i don't so it's not going to show me um, the selections but if you go into um, if you add another um, criteria if you have this all set up with your e-commerce you can scroll down here and it will say e-commerce activity and what you want to do is choose um, the setting that says they have not made a purchase within the last and then you add the days and choose again the three months which is 120 days so if you've had somebody who's made a purchase within the last three months again they won't be included in this so you've got everything set up these are people who in the last three months are subscribed and not opening your emails what you can then do is click on preview the segment as you can see there's one person and that's me <laughs> you will likely end up with a longer list what you can then do is save the segment so you're going to give it a name and we'll call it inactive and hit save hopefully hit save there we go so now we've got this um, this segment saved and that is how you set up the segment for then sending emails out what you can then do in mailchimp is send campaign so i'll put a link to a blog which goes through this as well but what you what the easiest way to do this to be honest in um in mailchimp especially if you're on a free plan is to set this up as something that you do so you pop it in your diary once every three months to do you send campaign and you send an email campaign and you send the campaign to this group and it will take you to your usual mailchimp email builder and you send an email out to everybody on that list when they open your email it automatically will take them off this segment because they no longer applied because they did open an email from you and what that means is that you can set up an email and you can schedule it to send and then you can schedule up to two more that go out kind of about two to four days in between and try and win people back and that is how you set up the segment 
and how you set up the email of people who are unengaged with you. They're not opening your emails. You're cleaning up the list in your MailChimp and so it's going to cost you less. You're going to get much more clear idea about how many people are opening your emails and your return on investment will be a lot better. So I hope you, that you found this useful and that you can now go and do this once a quarter really easily.